Daisy and I would like to tell you the story of vein valves, <laughs> okay? Daisy's my she's a star. Anyway, vein valves are, is a way in which nature has, has uh, expressed its resistance to blood flowing backwards in the veins. We want the blood to flow towards the heart, not away from the heart. And so in certain parts of our body, especially in the distal parts, we have uh, little flaps inside of our veins to prevent backflow in the veins. In the greater, great, large veins of the body, we don't necessarily have those. So come down and have a look, or we can do a little comparison uh, of Captain's veins here. So in, in this vein, this would be the, a section of the inferior vena cava. The inferior vena cava is a huge vein that's emptying at this point into the right ventricle and drawing blood from the lower part of the body here and from the kidneys and other, uh, other regions. And if we open up this vein, we can see it's kind of uh, smooth sailing. It's a clear, a clear pathway in here. We don't see any valves uh, built into this tissue. It expresses itself valve free. But come over here and have a look at Captain's cephalic vein. The cephalic vein is a vein uh, on the surface of your arm it's uh, a smaller vein, you can see by comparison to, the, to that great big vessel over there. Um, the, the inferior vena cava is quite large and broad. Uh, the cephalic vein is more narrow, although it's a decent sized vein. And watch as I push up through here. I get to this point and I see something cool. So come help me hold this down here, would you? Heather's on the hemostats, Mato's on the camera, and I've got my probe and I'm going to put it into a little pocket here. Can you see that my probe is behind a little membrane here? When I lift up, the whole thing comes up because I'm caught in a little sac. And that's, there's, two, uh, there's two flaps to this valve, one here and one here. And when this is closed up, they create a pathway be between them. The blood flows freely in this direction. But if it were to try and turn back and go this way, it's going to meet the resistance of these pockets. Uh, so there are several pockets along the way, but I'd like to give you a demonstration of that in my living arm. Now, I managed to inherit my grandma's giant, uh, giant arm veins here, so it kind of runs in the family and have very large veins. Can you see my vein? I'm going to use the probe right here. Can you see my vein? i got a like, squiggly vein right here, and here it is popping up over here. I'm kind of been pumping up my hand here for this demonstration. Now, watch what happens if I press, if I press down somewhere here and I scooch the blood up. Look, it disappeared. Now watch it come back. See? I'm going to press down. I'm going to scooch it up because there's a valve right here. See how the blood comes back? I can push the blood past the valve, but the, the blood doesn't flow back towards my finger because of the resistance of the valve. I can do it up here as well. Watch. I squish and we get kind of a dent. Okay, now where is that valve hiding out? I'm going to find it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Got to get up far enough. There's a valve right there. See? And I let go and the blood goes up. I squish it, I let the blood flow. Back down here again, just to remind you. Right up here, I squish it, I get past the valve. The blood doesn't flow back, like so. There's a valve right there. Fills in. Isn't that cool? So if you've got giant veins like I do, you can, you can do this demonstration easily enough. There, I've gone, pushed the blood up past the valve, I let go, and the blood flows back to the valve. So there's proof in my living form that veins have valves, as well as in Captain's cephalic vein, the very one that I've been playing with right here. And yet we don't have valves in every vein, just, just the, uh, the more narrow ones. When we get to the really big ones, we're just working on pressure differentials between the body cavities get to, get to get the blood back to the heart. Cool. Thanks for your help, Captain. Thanks, Mata. Thanks, Heather. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to study more with me, Go to gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy.